this is basic stretching. People wonder why I have two chairs there, all right? Okay, I'm gonna show you uh, basically how to stretch, which I have used over, over the years, the prior years I've used this, it's helped me a lot with my flexibility and my kicking, my posture, um, my balance, and everything like that. So I'm gonna show you a way which I've used for many years to have more flexibility, okay? So I have one stool here and one stool over there, right? First I start off by doing basically with my heels up. So I'm gonna bring my knees up, put it down here, right? Toes pointing up, hands and knees, and I'm gonna just ease myself down and just feel that stretch. I'm not gonna lunge over my back. I always keep the spine straight, shoulders straight. You wanna kinda of come forward. Everything you do, you wanna come forward. Right? So just gradually just feel that stretch. Feel the stretch right now. You can use a stool right here if you want to hold on to for, for, for that balance. If you find you can't keep this balance here, you can hold on to this, you know, just for starters. Just to hold, just to keep the balance. Right? So that's that that's the reason why the stool is here. So now you can bend your knees down. Just gradually keep your back straight, bend your knees. And feel that stretch. Just try to go forward with it. I'm trying to do this, hold it for a couple of minutes in this position here. Feel that stretch. Okay. I'm going to switch over with my hips. Like I'm doing a side kick. Foot flat, down, toes going to the, to the side, turn this foot all the way over, facing this way. This is good also for your form, help you to form and keep it good for balance. This is good for everything balance, your form, your posture, your flexibility, um, your coordination, it helps you with all that stuff. Okay, so you want to keep your like this, and you want to just like, kind of like keep this leg straight out, and kind of like bend this knee. Feel that stretch. You can use a stool or hold on to it. in that way. Feel that stretch. Feel that stretch. Here. Go foot back up. Kind of see if you can reach down and touch your ankle. Do not bend that knee. Do not bend this knee. Everything is straight. Try to see if you can reach. You can feel it in your hips, your back. One. Back down, kind of slide the stool down a little bit. Put your foot, trying to get a more of a stretch. Feel that stretch. Kind of go down as far as you can. Use a stool for a leverage to help you out. Stretch. Okay. Now we're going to switch your foot over here. So your hips turn over. So your toes are flat on the stool. Okay? You want to face this way. You want the same exact thing. Feel that stretch in the hips. You want to bend your knees. Go down. Bend your knees. Use the stool for help. When you kind of use to the balance part of this, then you want to use the stool. You can do it with no hands. Feel the stretch. Forward, feel the stretch. All right, everything you do on your right, you do that on the left. So repeat the same exercise here on the left hand side. Okay. And want to come back. So here, keep that leg facing that way. Here, repeat. Same thing. Back. You want to turn the heel back over. Toes pointing up. Here. Now once you do the first set of that, I want you to go a little bit more down with the stretch. Try to see if you can touch your toes. A little bit more down, 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 until you can touch before that. I want you to come forward with your stretch. Not here. Come forward with it. See if you can touch chin to your knee, got both toes, toes pointing up, knees 
flat down here. Feel that stretch. You can feel it in your back. Hamstring pull it. Bend your knees a little bit. Come forward. Try to grab. Try to get a little turn. Right. Feel that stretch in your hamstring. Come back up. Repeat again. Try to roll back down slowly, slowly. Touch. Grab. Stretch. Right. Feel that stretch. When you're just starting out here, you can go nice and slowly. We're keeping the form of the posture. Okay. Toes pointing up. You want to do the same exact thing. Right. Ease yourself down with the stretch first. You don't really want to go all the way down here. You just want to feel that stretch. So just gradually feel that stretch first. Same exact thing. You're on the right side, you're going to like feel the stretch. Couple minutes, I'm going to switch over. You can use that um, other chair, other stool to help you. Put your toes pointing that way. Same thing. Jump go forward if you want more space. You can just stretch. Go as far down as you can. Stretch. Yeah. Keep the knee straight. This knee can bend. Bring it up, trying to come down, see if you can touch your ankle or your toes. Alright. Alright. Turn your foot over. Just like that. Shoulder straight. We just stool for help. Bend your knee. Come down. Bring it down. Feel that stretch. Straighten up, back to the side. Yeah, keep that form. Come all the way around. Yeah. I want you to come down into the stretch now. Gradually come down into the stretch. Okay, touch the knee. Toes pointing up. Come down. Chin touch the knee. Kind of looking at your toes. Feel that stretch. Turn your body over a little bit. Feel that stretch gradually. Take your time. Right. The stool that you want to have depends on your height. I'm like six, one and a half or something like that. So you want to, this stool right here is like, is like to my knee. So as soon as you, when you're progressing in the stretching, you want to, you know what I'm saying, go a little higher with the object you're using. So you want to go up to like your hip, you know, to your, uh, to your, to your side, to your elbow, to even to your head. You know, you can find an object as tall as that, or as tall as you. And eventually after a while, you'll be able to stretch even more. You, know, you want to start off small first. It's a small little school like this and then you can progress to higher objects. The basic warm up first, and you can jump right into basic stretching. You can do this almost every day because it's very basic and it's not too hard on your joints or your ligaments. So you won't, you won't get too sore, you won't, you know, you're gonna feel the stretch, but it's very basic that you, that you, that you can do. And it can help you also Build up your legs also with the squatting down on one leg and coming back up. So give it a shot and tell me what you think. Peace.